One of the first skills your child will learn at school is counting. There are lots of things you can do at home with your child to support and develop their counting. It doesn't have to be difficult and you don't need any special resources. You can use any objects that you can find around your home. The first step is to count out loud as often as you can with your child. This will help them to remember the number names in order. Practice counting forwards and backwards. There are lots of counting songs you can sing, such as One, Two, Buckle My Shoe. Children love collecting things, whether it's toys, buttons, coins, conkers or pine cones. And the collections they form are a great resource for counting. Ask your child to count the objects in their favourite collection. This will help them to practice learning number words in the correct order. For example, one, two, three, four, five. It's a good idea to start with 10 objects or less. Often children will miss out objects or count too quickly. It's important to ask your child to touch each object as they count it, as this will help them to understand that they need to say one number word for each object. You can help them by guiding their finger to each object as they say the number. When they've touched the final object and said its number, say the name of the item they counted. For example, one, two, three, four, five buttons. Then ask your child how many there are in the group. This helps them to understand that the last number they say tells them how many objects there are in a group. Encourage your child to put the objects into a line or pattern to help them to count accurately. Okay, Amelia, can you count the buttons for me? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Might be a bit easier if we can put them <laughs> in a straight line, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Can you try counting them now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, excellent. When your child has counted all the objects in their collection in order from left to right, ask them to count the objects again, but this time beginning from a different starting point. Ask them to count from right to left. Excellent. Can you count from this one? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Then muddle the objects around and ask your child how many there are. Wonderful. And now we're going to mix them all up. How many buttons are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Yes. This will help them to realise that there are the same number of objects in a group wherever they begin counting from or how they are arranged. Most children will count the objects again as they won't realise that the number of objects hasn't changed. You didn't add or remove any. Repeating this a number of times will help your child to understand that the number of objects only changes if you add or remove some. There are so many opportunities to count objects with your child as you go about your day. Around the house, count toys, socks, pencils, pegs. When out walking, count cars, sticks, birds and footsteps. The list is endless. The important thing is to keep counting. Take all the opportunity around you to expose your child to numbers and most importantly, make it fun.